The fall weather is here and that means it's time to dress in layers. Here to show us those cozy fall trends is style expert Afia. Welcome back to daytime. Thanks Denise, thanks so much for having me as I knock our girl over. <laughs> <laughs> the beautifully dressed mannequin. Yes. Tell us what you brought today. So all the clothes that I brought today are from Dynamite and what I loved about this is that it's an affordable price point because we know when the, change, the seasons change somehow we look in our wardrobes and we're like I have nothing. What did I wear last season? Right. For some reason, it's like you have nothing. So there are just a few key things that you need to really kind of inject a whole new life to your wardrobe. You don't need a whole overhaul. You just need a few things. And I'm here to say that sweaters are one of the biggest pieces of the season. Okay. Which I know you're going to say, yeah, it's fall. That's not exactly a news flash, but it's how we're wearing these sweaters is what's changed and fresh this season. So you might be able to use stuff that you already have, or you might want to get a couple new pieces like I found at Dynamite, but it's how we're layering them, as you said. Okay, show us what you're doing here because sometimes this looks great and sometimes you might try on a sweater mm -hmm. and it doesn't quite look the same on you but that's because there's actually a key to creating this layered look why don't you tell us how it's done that's right and I love that you said that Denise because you're right I think sometimes that we take for granted that we're just gonna emulate this but we're not paying attention to the small nuances and details as to why this look looks this way so we're talking about layering here underneath this is a very nice fitted uh, mock turtleneck and this I'm saying is almost like your supporting player I wouldn't necessarily suggest that you wear something so fitted on its own potentially it might work but this is a layering piece so this is one you're gonna have underneath nothing too bulky so that it adds volume right it's just gonna lay it's gonna lay beautifully what I love is this beautiful like rope sweater and you notice this is how I've tied it is that we're not wearing it as a rope so we haven't cinched it very tightly and wearing it as you would a bath gown or yes, like a rope yes you've left it a little bit open so you can see what's happening underneath and then left the uh, bow even right down to that as a detail it's not a huge oversweeping bow that's too dramatic it's just a very simple knot and that's gonna keep everything streamlined and looking nice and sophisticated totally elegant option for sweaters and the layering is great because it allows you the flexibility of temperatures we know that when we leave in the morning it's a totally different temperature from when we get home in the evening mm -hmm. and so when you dress in layers this is allowing you lots of options and the ripped jeans they're still in ripped jeans are not going anywhere <laughs> they are Good. here to stay for a while I mean I can't say forever because we know uh, fashion's consistently changing but they are here for a while so they definitely are worth it because you'll have them for at least several more seasons that's for sure and these are skinny jeans which I love so are bootlegs coming in straight legs yes you got it so we're seeing a straight leg there is a little bit of a move away from the skinny but that's not to say that skinny is going anywhere it's Good. not it's now a staple we know that we love our leggings we love our skinnies as you mentioned you can tuck them into your boots because of their versatility skinnies aren't going to go anywhere but we are starting to see a new silhouette which is a straight leg that's going to be good news for some people who didn't love the skinny some people are going to be like no 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 I want to keep them and that's okay you can it's good. still totally I'm one on of those trend. people that's and it. you had mentioned boots so we're going to be talking about boots in the next segment that's right which it's is so. great because that's keeping our feet co toasty and cozy exactly but let's talk about the next mannequin yes so here and what we have over here I'll for this layer look so again, speaking of layers, now this is now a this sweater dress. This is beautiful. Dress. I so love soft. this as well. It's so great. And I love that I'm here pairing it as a dress, which is, makes sense. Um, you could obviously wear this with tights, but I also suggest that you could wear it over a skinny jean as we saw before. You're thinking about your layers in a new way. And this is a great cape that I just threw on top, just kind of that nonchalant. Again, you want to look like effortless, but you know, you did have a little bit of effort because it looks pretty perfect. Um, and speaking of those layers, it all just kind of works together. I also talk about versatility. So when you're looking at these pieces, yes, it's a dress and that's how you can wear it, but also think of it as a longer tunic or you know, just different ways that you can wear it because that's gonna give you the maximum impact in your wardrobe. Absolutely, right? and keep your legs warm if you need to put something underneath That's there. exactly right. Now talk about the, the you called this a cape. Is this that's also a, called a scarf or a blanket scarf? I was gonna say, Denise, that's exactly it. So this is now, this is a cape, it's being sold as a cape, so we're just throwing it over like this. But what I love about this is that it can also be worn, as you said, as a blanket scarf. So you would treat it just as you would your scarf. So that means it can be layered over your cute jacket, it can go over and that's just simply about how you're wearing it. So you can do something like this to be a little bit more dramatic and sweeping, or you can bring it right up to your neckline so you have that really oversized great effect like and just pretend I've done this a little bit without two seconds right so you kind of can see the options that you have here with this one piece it's a perfect traveling companion um, but it's also something that's great for day to day it's the piece that you keep at your office so if at your desk you have this so that you can always throw this on over top it's the piece that you have in your front hall because you throw it over your jacket so this to me is one of those super hard working pieces that initially you might say like 
How does somebody wear a cape? If that's not the only way you have, you can wear it. That's, that's for fantastic. Sure. It's so cozy. Yeah. It is. And uh, luckily, we have more with style expert Afia when we return. So stay right there. <laughs> Welcome back to Daytime. Style expert Afia Francisco is here with the latest trends in fall footwear and accessories. So Afia, we're going to get to the footwear in just a moment, but why don't you show us these incredible incredibly cozy accessories. Yeah, right, because this That's is part amazing. of it. In addition to your wardrobe, where I showed you some of the sweaters and the layering and how to do that, but sometimes all it takes is a cool accessory to kind of complete that look. Yes. I recently read something that it was the rule of three, which I thought was really cool. When you have an outfit and you have two pieces on, think of a third, and that's kind of where you get that extra kind of stylist uh, effect. So it looks as though you've done that much more just with that extra layer to it. Okay. So you can do that with your accessories. So here, this one is actually from Dynamite. It's this faux for circle scarf which I just thought was I feel this Denise it feels oh, so no. isn't that nice so nice and, how would you wear this and so this is something as simple as on the outfit that we had before just throwing it over and it just gives you the idea of how it looks wow. to just add that one extra piece so it's taken a really nice outfit it was great to just that extra level we're also seeing a lot of silk scarves right now this one is Banana Republic actually and I've just thrown it over this sweater just to show I mean a sweater on its own is beautiful but then when you just add that extra element you just kick it up a notch so that's what I want you to think about when you're purchasing your accessories how it is that you're going to wear them when you stick to neutral tones something like this with your grays or your browns you can bring in some texture and a little bit of pattern but because it's a really nice easy palette it goes with most of your things and it's easily most often just a term of throwing on top it's not much thought it's just literally putting it over and finishing your outfit with a really cool accessory and it's just going to add that little bit of something extra interesting to it so Animal, so this is a snake. Is this, That's is right. this trendy as well this fall? That's it. So we're seeing again in terms of texture. So this one is Banana Republic and this one I believe is Gap. And we're seeing the snake in that kind of ostrich finish. So both faux. And it's just giving you that great texture detailing here. A little bit of interest. And then of course, like I mentioned, it is both in a neutral palette. So although it looks like there's a whole lot going on, you'll be surprised by how versatile it is because it's a very neutral palette. So it's pretty much you can pick it up and go and it'll match most of your things. That's great. Yeah. And the belt. I did want to talk about this belt. This one is Paige Denim. And what I love, I love a good belt. And you were saying the same thing as well. Sometimes it's just that finishing touch, you know, for example, getting back to our mannequin. If we wanted to lose the belt that it came with, I'm not sure if we're seeing it. I'll move this over a yeah, bit. Take that. Um, so you could lose the belt that you that it came with and add on your own belt and that just gives it a little bit and you can just see easily I'm obviously not doing this properly, but you can get an idea that that just gives it a little bit of something extra um, Super easy to do and I especially loved this belt because as you can see the holes go all the way around the belt So this gives you a lot of options in terms of where you place it So you could wear this at the top of your waist if you wanted to if you want to wear it with more low slung So this is something that if it's something that's thicker heavier this would give you all the room you need that's to fantastic. go. That's fantastic. We simple. only have about two minutes left. So let's I know we want to talk about the, the footwear. Yeah. Because, of course, boots are very important for this season. But what we're seeing this time around is that it's almost like a heavier, more utilitarian boot, but in a fancy way. So, for example, these ones are Esprit. I found these at Winners. But it's that almost like old school 90s staple that we saw a lot of. But how we're wearing these is paired with more dresses and skirts. So really? It's, yeah. So it's really different. It's that juxtaposition of like that really romantic, flowy, and then like this heavy boot. Well, what would you wear for a sock or a tight? How do you, if you pair could picture it with a dress? Those cabin socks from Roots. Yes. And so you kind of had that scrunched effect with a nice flowy dress. Even something like this, this might be a little bit rough, but it gives you the idea of what it looks like um, if this dress is a little bit more flowy, but the the fluidity of the cape kind of gives you that feeling. If this is like, okay, this is a bit rough, a bit tough for me, then I would say that you might want to go with a little bit of a heel. But even when we do the heel, you can see that we have that lug sole underneath. So it's a little bit tougher. But again, just pairing it with a dress, something unexpected. It's not, it obviously goes very well with jeans, but we're seeing it in different ways, like with the dresses and the skirts. And again, would you wear socks? Yes, this? I would. Wow, so you that could is wear very sock, interesting. You, so you could wear a sock with it where you're just seeing like a little peak of the sock coming out, okay. or you could wear it with a tight. 
Okay. So those would be the ways that I would wear it. Um, but you have a lot of options here. It's kind of one of those things that sometimes it's just a matter of taking a look in the mirror and seeing which one you like the best, just playing around with what you have. Sometimes you're going to just prefer a bare ankle, kind of something similar to what I've done today. Okay. And then I couldn't leave these ones out because these are quite opulent. You can see they're quite a statement. Yes. Velvet <laughs> is huge this, this season. It's not going to be for everyone, but in terms of the material, if it's not something you want to wear, um, on your body, then an easy way to adopt it is in your accessories. So of course, either like a boot or a dress, but with this, I mean, this is doing so much work for you that you could have the plainest outfit in the world. If you're a jeans and t-shirt kind of girl, you throw on a pair of velvet boots and you're kind of done. So you don't have to do this too much work. certainly has personality all on its own. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us Thanks, today. Please. And up next, yeah, 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 Frank Zeroni will be right back. That is fascinating yeah, because... Good.